Hello everyone and happy Monday. It is grid day Monday. We've got the golden singing bell to start us off today. This allows us to receive healing energy into our hearts. This goes right to the heart chakra. It also helps activate this grid for today. So just allow this healing energy to come into your heart to help start your day off right. Or if you're listening to this some other time, not in the morning, that's okay too because we can allow healing energy into our hearts 24-7, 365. Having said that, let's get started on today's grid. So, Spirit told me that today's grid needs to be a grid to help heal the bridge between heaven and earth. And what that means is, earth is 3D, third dimensional. And heaven is fifth dimensional and above. So, this is to help activate and help heal that connection that we have to the higher realms. And this can be the bridge to your higher self, the bridge to God, creator, source, uh, spirit, great spirit, the higher realms, however you see them, but the higher dimensions. So today we're using the Metatron's Cube Gold Grid Cloth. So Metatron's Cube is this pattern um, that's printed on the black cloth. And Metatron is um, a very high-ranking archangel. And Metatron is the voice of creator or God. So on the grid today, we have this fabulous piece of Moldavite. This is in my personal collection. Yes, it is huge. It is a, considered a large piece of Moldavite. Um, I wear it a lot of times and Moldavite is a meteor that fell to earth in what is now Czechoslovakia. So the Moldavite is a, has a cosmic energy. It has a very high frequency and it brings in cosmic energy. So this represents the higher realms. Um, also, if you look, I do have Moldavite on my ring today. <laughs> I really like my Moldavite. I also have a Moldavite necklace on and Moldavite earrings. Um, I'm going to skip out here into these six circles. See these? This is Tektite. This is also a type of meteor. This meteor fell to Earth in what is now Tibet. So again, more cosmic energy. So we've got our cosmic energy. And then here, to represent Earth, we have Shungite. Shungite comes from the Earth. This Shungite comes directly from Karelia, Russia. And Shungite, um, just, sh just like selenite, you can never have too much Shungite. Shungite is amazing for transmuting low frequency energy into high. I actually keep Shungite in my water bottle so that it transmutes low frequency water into high frequency water. Um, and a lot of the water on our planet is low frequency because of all the stuff we, we put in it. So maybe we put, um, you know, chemicals or, or even just the processing of it lowers the frequency. It also lowers the pH. So the Shungite represents earth. Now for the healing between heaven and earth, we've got amazing amethyst. Amethyst is a master healer crystal. It has a high frequency. It resonates with your third eye and your crown chakra. And it, it is a master healer. So anytime people are having, whether it's um, emotional issues or physical issues or mental issues or even spiritual issues, amethyst is always an easy go-to because it is so soothing and comforting and healing. If you've had surgery, 
amethyst is a great stone to carry on your body. Um, for those of you in recovery, amethyst is an amazing stone for recovery as well. So um, <laughs> no matter what the addiction. Um, so amethyst is representing the healing energy between heaven and earth. And so as you can tell, the shape that we went with today is, is very much like a snowflake. That's what I, after I finished it, that's kind of what I was feeling like, oh, we just created a healing snowflake. So this is a very powerful healing snowflake to heal the connection between heaven and earth, between our 3D reality and 5D and higher realities, between you and source, creator, God. Um, in a lot of people, this is what's missing or what we need to work on is that connection with our higher self. Um, our higher self knows what we need, but our ego gets in the way a lot of times and tells us what we think we need. And we need to stop thinking with our, our minds and start thinking with our hearts. So hopefully this grid helps you today and this week. I'm going to play the singing bell again. Sometimes people ask me how I create these grids. It's all about meditating. Meditate, meditate, meditate. And be open to receiving messages. I ask my spirit guides all the time, what do I need to know today? What do I need to know today? So may you be healed by the tone of the singing bell. May you be healed by this crystal grid. May you be healed by all the power that is within you. And may you pass that on to everybody that you come into contact with. Have a beautiful day, my wonderful soul family. And you will see me again soon. Namaste.